Hello, beautiful animals on Facebook. Merry Christmas Eve, if that's something that you're celebrating, and um, happy December otherwise. So I wanted to um, share a little bit. I know a lot of people might be spending time with family this time of year, and um, it can be uh, tricky sometimes to connect and remember to connect with your heart when there's a lot of external stimulation and big holiday events and things like that. And so if this caught you in your news feed and you happen to be um, perhaps uh, looking for a little escape on Facebook <laughs> from one thing or another um, today or in these next few days, then I really invite you to, um, you know, kind of uh, take a minute to separate from the like quick scrolling way of being and actually just like come into like sitting and be present with the message of this video because there's some reason why it's come into your realm today. And so with that, I wanted to share that I, um, you know, growing up, angels were part of, um, you know, kind of the story. I, I grew up uh, Christian and um, had, um, you know, the, this idea that there were some kind of beings that could be described in that way. And um, a lot of different stories uh, outside of just biblical ones, you know, hearing people talk about um, encounters with angels and that sort of thing. And I remember the TV show I used to love, Touched by an Angel, I think it was on CBS. And, um, and yet, like, until really recently, like in the last couple months, that um, the energy of angels hadn't really been something that I had actually connected with. And so um, perhaps you feel similarly, like this is sort of this thing out there that a lot of songs are sung about, but like it doesn't really have much meaning for you um, personally, or perhaps you have had a really different journey with the energy of angels. Maybe that's something that you're really familiar with and you really deeply connect with. So whatever that is for you, I invite you to um, just be open during this meditation and allow your curiosity to be present with, um, with what wants to come in for you in this moment. And so without uh, further story, go ahead and lower your eyes and take a couple breaths where you're just really present to your body and present to your breath coming in and coming out. And for this meditation, you're going to start by just seeing yourself as a baby. So whatever image that conjures for you, what, whatever might be around in the room or outside, wherever you see yourself as like a little, little baby, little infant, And just come right to whatever moment appears for you and see yourself with your guardian angel right at your head, just peering down at you and taking you in. And just allow this image to, as it comes in, to, you know, to, um, have some detail fill in what this angel looks like, what it, what it might feel like to be near it. And to feel that you know, whatever happened in, in your childhood when you were little, whatever may have been going on in your life as you were growing up, to feel that there actually was a presence that was really witnessing you and sending you love and doing 
what was possible based on agreements that were made and um, you know the kind of laws of the universe that there was in fact an energy a presence that was sharing love with you and so it's possible as you start to color this in that you may start to feel like there's a name or some colors associated with this angel or maybe um, some sense of a gender or perhaps even a gender that um, like isn't really easy to describe like something kind of outside of what we experience around gender so just sort of let yourself be open to who this angelic being is. And maybe even some understanding of why they were present in your life. And, and now I want to invite you to actually feel that energy, that angel, guardian angel, coming to be right behind you, right at your back. And I'm even going to invite you to um, stretch your arms out and kind of, um, you can even kind of move them like wings. This is great if you're in a public space. Um, <laughs> hopefully you have a little privacy, but, um, you know, just to kind of get kind of that flow and that feathery and that lightness kind of moving in your body and feel the angel behind you with its wings, you know, just gently flowing, waving up and down. And... From this place, from this exact moment, now you can rest your arms actually for this part and maybe bring a hand to your heart and just ask, you know, like whatever's happening in your world right now, whatever may be going on with, with family or friends or, you know, just your life, your, your relationships, your um, work in the world, like anything that feels up for you. You know, just ask for a message or a, a bit of information to come into your awareness from your guardian angel and see what wisdom they may want to share with you right now. And then you can offer a bit of gratitude, some gesture of gratitude to this beautiful being with so much love, helping out humans. <laughs> And when you're ready, go ahead and come back into the room you're in. You can open your eyes up and, um, again, you know, I want to say that, um, if, uh, if it didn't feel super vivid this time around, um, for those of you that might see this and like still kind of like not really, really connect with, with um, the, you know, guided piece, then, uh, you know, play with it. Play with like what works for you. Like you can ask for, um, you know, little, um, little signs. Oh, good. It reconnected. Okay. We're in the middle of Northern Michigan. So sorry for the delay. Um, I was just saying, you know, you can ask for little signs. You can... Um, you know, speak to your guardian angel and kind of um, uh, begin a dialogue, begin a relationship and see 
um, what that wants to feel like for you and you can always come back to, to this later on and watch it again and see if you start to kind of have new sensations in your body or new ways of being in relationship with the information so it's um it's kind of just like cultivating a relationship with with uh, um, another person or an animal in a way you know that there can be this um, just like period of like getting to know what um, what it feels like to be in the relationship and what it looks like what form it takes So be gentle with yourself I just wanted to say that in case there's anybody watching this it's like I did the thing and it didn't really like feel that connected um, you know play with it be curious and come back to it and um, Yeah, and if you did really connect with it then just you know let your heart feel that gratitude that this is something that um it is already kind of like awakened for you and uh, and continue to deepen that just again as you would a relationship with an animal or another person that you can um, continue to play and and uh, experience it as like a real thing you know just as real as these other relationships that we have um, these things that are in other dimensions that we can't necessarily see with our eyes but we can feel them most definitely and we can receive information we can send information to them so um, there's a way where you can um, be quite playful with with what it looks like in that way and um, yeah you don't have to worry about like oh is my best friend gonna answer the phone when I call because um, there's like the, the time uh, and uh, availability of these energies is like totally infinite and available to us anytime which is pretty sweet um, so yeah however you connect to this time of year however you connect to the divine and, and God and spirit or whatever you call it um, know that um, that uh, for me at least these angelic energies very high high um, frequency very connected to to source to divine love um, that these are things that I believe are are totally available to us to be in relationship with so uh, next week I'll pop back into the animal cards but for this week I was just feeling like this wanted to come through so so much love to all of you thank you for um being in my in my community and uh have a wonderful blessed uh next week week and a half through all this busy time of year <laughs> good luck with it all and um until next time Mwah. love you